It was a bright, sunny morning. No one was around, and it was nice and quiet. It's my breakfast going down, said Dig. It's thunder, shouted Doug. It's an earthquake, shouted Dig. But they were both wrong. It was Mr McAdam on the road roller. Hello, you two, he said. Morning, Mr McAdam. Hello, Mr McAdam, they both replied. First, we thought you were Dig's breakfast. And then we thought you were an earthquake. Mr McAdam hadn't the faintest idea what they were talking about. So he explained what he wanted done today. Between here and the tunnel needs flattening, he said. So, do you think you can handle this old beauty? Oh, yes, said Doug. A piece of cake, that is. What's a piece of cake? asked Mr McAdam. That is, said Doug. That's not a piece of cake. It's a road roller, said Mr McAdam. Dig laughed and explained that it was the job that was a piece of cake, not the machine. But Mr McAdam was so confused, he just waved and left them to it. Right, said Doug. I'll get us started up while you shift the caravan. Why do we need to shift the caravan? asked Dig. Because it's in the way of the road roller, and if we leave it here, it'll be flattened. So while Dig went to get the truck to move the caravan, Doug started flattening the ground. Morning, Dig, said Daisy. Hello, Beth. Hello, Daisy. What have you got there? It's for pumping up tyres. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Beth. And they all went their separate ways. As Eric was checking some pipes, Dig arrived to park the caravan. Yes, this'll do nicely, he said. Oi, said Eric. What's going on? Dig couldn't work out where the voice was coming from. He looked in the back of the truck. Hello, he said. Hello, said the voice. But Dig just couldn't work it out. Hello, he said. Hello, said the voice again, getting rather angry. Hello, Eric, said Dig. What are you up to down there? You sit tight and I'll have you out in no time. Dig waved goodbye and went in search of a better place for the caravan. This'll do, I reckon. Hey, laddie, said Mr McAdam. What on earth do you think you're doing? Parking the caravan. No, 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 you'll have to find somewhere else. You're in the way of my bricks. Righto, said Dig, and drove off again. Doug, meanwhile, was having an excellent time. Can't find a spot for the caravan, shouted Dig. Park it in the tunnel, said Doug. I shan't be rolling in there for a while, so it'll be nice and safe. Righto, said Dig, and drove the caravan straight in. As Doug tried to carry on working, he kept hearing a voice. It was so faint, he had to turn off the engine. Who is it? said Doug nervously. Me, said the voice. Dig, I'm in the tunnel and I can't get out because the caravan's in the way. 
Dud told him to back the caravan out and turn it round. Left a bit. Right a bit. Right. No, no, left. Left. That's right. Right. Lovely. Soon, the caravan was safely inside, and once they'd unhooked it, they drove the truck away to be parked. Then Mr McAdam came to see how they were getting on. Strange, he said to himself. No one's here, and the roller's not being used. Hello, he called into the tunnel. He decided that the best thing was to finish the job himself. Dig and Doug arrived back just as Mr McAdam was driving out again. I've finished off that last bit. I'll see you later. Uh-oh. Poor old Dig and Doug. And their poor old caravan. Look on the bright side, Doug, said Dig. At least we weren't in it. Hello, Uncle Doug shouted Daisy. You're looking down in the dumps. What's wrong? And then she saw what was left of their caravan. Oh, no. It's all flat. But look on the bright side. At least you weren't in it. Then Beth arrived. Hi, Daisy. Hello, Beth. Look what's happened to their caravan. Oh, no, said Beth. Look on the bright side, though. At least you weren't in it. <laughs> then Daisy had an idea. <laughs> I really like that caravan, said Dig. Me too, said Doug. It was like another home. It was another home, said Dig. Oh, well, not a lot we can do about it now. And neither of them could believe their eyes. I can hardly believe my eyes, Doug, said Dig. I can hardly believe your eyes either, 